Here's my mower, guys. And it's got an oil leak, so we're gonna fix this thing. It won't leak for a long time when I'm done with it. This is the engine, it's the Kohler, the 7000 series, 22 horsepower engine. Got the valve covers here now. But that one's not leaking. This one is. This thing's just pretty hot. And today, uh, we're gonna stop this leak and uh, the way I'm gonna stop it is she'll last for a very long time you can also see um, the gasket maker that they used um, for this thing they didn't there's no gaskets on here just uh, some RTV selling from the factory from uh, this machine or this engine um, but you can see how the oil just ran down and burnt the cable it gets so hot burnt the cable and just made a mess here. So I'm gonna pressure wash all this, clean this up, get some parts cleaner, clean all this out real good. Show you guys everything I'm gonna use to prevent this leak. Um, first and foremost, let's get a cold start. Let me show you guys what it's doing. And also the battery in here. I just got this battery a couple years ago and um, it's pretty much won't hold a charge. So I gotta go get a new battery, but not now. We're gonna jump this off get all this stuff cleared out and get this more back looking really nice so uh, let's uh get a cold start show you guys how bad it's smoking upon cold start and of course it's due to it gets hot extremely fast and there's oil all over the valve covers and the, uh, the engine so yeah let's get a cold start That's the current outside temperature. Putting the dot on the, on the entire engine. Y'all see cold start. It's about 80 degrees outside.
Okay, guys. Um, see the hottest temperature we got. 334. I'm able to climb up a little bit more. But, yeah, we're gonna... Came over in this area. We're gonna fix it over here under the tree in the shade. It's supposed to be like 85 today. Yeah, we'll fix it right there. Gonna let this thing cool off. Gonna clean this thing up, pressure wash it. Um, but most importantly, this video is about the valve covers and we're gonna stop that leak um, and make sure it don't leak no more for a very long time. Okay, guys, I got my setup here. Sorry for the llama, the tractor. That's my neighbor cutting the grass. Um, some parts and uh, gum out parts cleaner. This stuff is, is on sale for like eight bucks for this large can, 16 ounces. Can't beat that. It's on sale. AutoZone, eight bucks. Um, that's some tools I'm gonna need. Found out we got a T30 here. These are T30, Torx T30 bolts. Gonna do this side first, then get that side out with the fuel pump. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's clean up first. And another most important thing out of all this to me is safety glasses. I don't, I don't work on too much anything without safety glasses. Some rubber gloves. Yeah, so let's get busy. Oh, I got this uh, portable fold-out stool, guys. These like four bucks at a uh, Dollar General. Couldn't beat that. Not bad. So this is my little work area right here. Drain out. You want to do the other side? Uh, pretty clean. The glue was actually holding on this side really good.
So I'm gonna do these the same way, take my time and get all that RTV, that ceiling off of here. The ceiling they used from the factory. Like I said, the right hand side was, was still holding on, doing good, which is this side. This side was still doing good. This side wasn't, it was infiltrated. So let's get this cleaned all up, take my time with it. And uh, we'll be back in a second, trying to save some footage. Use some sandpaper. Got a scraper right here. I'm gonna get a small one if I need to. Okay, guys, I got this really powerful degreaser. Dumb doesn't sit on here. Outside, got some shop rags. So we're gonna let that sit for a little bit, wipe those clean, scrape them, and we'll be installing them shortly. Okay guys, these are the gaskets you wanna buy here. These gaskets by themselves are no good. You don't never install these by themselves. They're terrible. I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna do to make these gaskets last uh, for a long time uh, with this fix. So, um, here's the model number. They cost like six bucks. We're gonna install these. Both parts are clean, clear. And um, also you wanna buy some of this. This stuff is incredible. You can actually use this by itself but we're not gonna use it by itself. This will do exactly as this gasket maker did. This stuff will break down eventually over time, but we're adding a gasket with it, um, which will prolong the life of our fix. That's the goal, to prolong the life um, of this fix. So that's what we're trying to do. Okay guys, just wanna hand tighten them down. That's it for right now. Wanna hand tighten them down and come back in about an hour and torque them down. So let's go to the other side. Pop, we can put, actually put this back on. We'll go to the other side now.
So we'll be back in about an hour to tighten them down, both sides, and then we'll be out tomorrow. We'll let it sit overnight. Um, it's about maybe 5, 5.30, 6 o'clock in the evening. Uh, after we let them sit for, uh, we'll let them sit out throughout tonight. Tomorrow we'll start this thing up and drive it. So tomorrow afternoon I'll be back out here and I'll finish this up. We're going to pressure wash all this off. We're going to clean the machine up really good and um, start it up and then do some mowing. But um, we're good. Be back out here in about a, uh, an hour and uh, tighten everything down. Okay, guys, it's been a tad bit over now. Let's torque these down. 85 inch pounds. Uh, there's no specific sequence in the manual. Uh, just tighten them down. All right, let's do the other side. All right, just go over them again, make sure they torque down, and we're pretty good. So, reinstall the fuel line. So I'll put the clamp on there uh, in a second. Let me just go back over this side again, make sure everything's okay. All right, that's it guys. Be back out here tomorrow afternoon. We're gonna hold this thing down. If you don't wanna go farther in the video, that's fine. The fix is done. Um, but if you wanna see the fix, we'll start this thing tomorrow afternoon. Drive it to my pressure washer over on the side of the yard. A hose pressure wash this thing down real good. I shoot some degreaser all in there. I got some degreaser. I may just spray some on it tonight. I'll just degrease all this up tonight and let it sit. So I'm gonna do that right now, guys. I'll put degreaser all under there, all there. I'll spray it right now. I got some really nice degrees. Let me show you guys the degrees. Let's do that right now real quick before we end this video. So this is what we're gonna use just to spray everything down and let it sit overnight. We'll be back in the morning to pressure wash this thing off, um, start it up and um, should be all good. Uh, guys, I just I do want to know. It got it's by seven o'clock in the evening, but I've done probably about four or five videos today on different things. So I've been coming back and forth to this, um, as I do all the other videos I've done. Okay, guys, it's uh, the next day. It's around nearly two o'clock. I've been had a very busy morning, so I'm just gonna get out here to it. Um, we're gonna start it and then take it over to the pressure washer area and pressure wash this thing. I haven't touched it. I haven't bothered or did anything to it. And uh, let me show you guys, the, let you guys know we got a cold start. It's about 71 degrees out today. But we're in the shade, so still a nice day, but yeah, it's about 71 out. Let's just see. I'm aiming that light at on that. It's about right. We're under this tree, so it's about 60 under this tree. So uh, let's start it. Let's see how it fixed. Then we're going to pressure wash it, and then we're going to start it and do some more, and I'll speed it up. You guys can see me do some more, and we'll check that leak afterwards. I want to know, please top that engine off with oil before you start it. I'm going to show you what I, the engine oil I used, and I didn't show me topping it off because I did it last night as I was cleaning up. 
uh, around my area and I just have the oil out there so I just topped it off but I will show you guys what oil I used and I'll talk about that in a few minutes but please top that engine off with oil before you start it you don't want to damage your engine Something I forgot to mention, guys, that's very, very important, and I do apologize for this. Last night, when I turned the cameras off and stopped filming, I did clean up the area I was working in, and I did have the oil uh, that I used to, to top this thing back off uh, on the side, and uh, I did top it off last night, and um, I didn't show that. That's important. That's uh, extremely important. That's very important. That's probably one of the most important things. Uh, make sure you top it off with oil before you start this thing. Although it won't be completely dry, you still don't want to have it so low. And when you do top it off, it's very important that you do not overfill it. You rather have a little for it to be a little bit low than to overfill it. Um, don't overfill the engine with oil. This engine in particular, please. I've had some things with these engines. Uh, it's, otherwise, it's a great running engine. If you keep it maintained, uh, you'll get uh, a lot of life out of this engine. Um, as far as the oil. It takes one point. If you do change the oil in the oil filter itself, I just recently did it. Uh, it takes uh, 1.9 liters or two quarts of oil. Um, let, me let me go grab the oil I used. Be right back. So this is the oil I topped it off with. Just some 10W30. Uh, like I said, we're in the summertime now, so I'm just running this um, while it's hot outside. So just top it off with some 10W30 and um, you'll be good. Okay, let's pressure wash this thing. Let's mow some grass. Um, like I said, if you wanna stop here watching the video, that's fine. I wanted to make it an experience opposed to just a regular how-to, um, just uh, you, something you guys can enjoy after uh, the fix. So if you wanna stop now, you can. Um, uh, there's pretty much no more vital information. Uh, just me uh, cleaning this thing off, making it look decent and mowing it. But before you go, I will say this, there's a metal piece that goes from here to here it's broke off i'm gonna sand this down i'm gonna weld and i'm gonna uh, fabricate me a piece and weld it i got some amazing blades i'm gonna install those too i'll show that i'm about to shoot or this guard i'm not sure but we're gonna get that too but blades now uh, weld me that piece together i'll show you guys all that uh with this machine other than that this is an amazing running machine um i love it but let's uh pressure wash it down
Okay, guys. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. And I do, I forgot to tell you guys about the initial uh, smoke coming off. I sprayed engine degrees all around this thing. So just the stuff burning off the exhaust and some oil did drop down from the valve covers in there somewhere. So that's done, but um, we're pretty clean everywhere. This was um, overdue. Look at the wheels shining like new. Everything's cleaned up. Look at in here. Party holds it down one more time. And we're gonna let this stay open, let it dry for a little bit. But we're fine. Okay, I gotta see some stuff I gotta get right there. So I'm gonna pressure wash that down right now. Glad I saw that. Wheels are shining. Oh, I do wanna note the cleaner that I'm using is right here. Um, I use this stuff a lot. This particular cleaner. I use this degreaser a lot for a lot of things. I just put it in a spray bottle and um, I just spray away. So this is sold at Home Depot. Um, a tad bit expensive than the regular um, degreasers, but very, very, very good stuff. It just you don't, you don't have to do no wiping. Just put it on and it cleans off. So um, yeah, I'm gonna just spray that down one more time. Uh, let it out uh, dry. I see some stuff down there too. So I'm on all that stuff gone. Um, I did degrees all that stuff yesterday. I'm gonna clean all this off. We'll let it sit out for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, because the sun is trying to bake now. Beautiful day out, and we're gonna cut some grass with some um, relaxing music. If you guys wanna continue with the video, and afterwards, after I thought cut a ton of grass. We are on a one point, uh, a little bit over about one. Little under one and a half acres um, on this property. Of course, it's not all grass, but it's a lot of grass to cut. And when I get through um, cutting all the grass, and we'll see the results of this oil leak. This will not leak for 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 a very long time. It's not going to leak anymore. I guarantee it. All right, guys, we got that. We want to keep these machines in great working order. Even if we're just cleaning, giving it a good clean at times. So if a part do goes bad, we don't have to worry about struggling to get it clean. So we'll let this dry out for a minute. Uh, you want to note, this is the pressure wash I'm using. Uh, it's just a 1700 PSI machine, but it's a beast. It's a beast. It's a beast. Um, an idea about aftermarket. Gun for it. So... It's a little longer than the average. So I'll be back when we're cutting the grass. All right, guys, this thing is pretty dry. Got a little water here and there. Look, we're ready to go though. We're gonna rock and roll right now.
right, guys, we're done. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hope it, you found it helpful, most importantly.